cut 60 and 3 fourths inches. Cute. I mean, sorry, squared, because we're working with two dimensions on this run, right? It's area, so length times width. All right, and that would be your answer for that one. 60, 60 and 3 fourths inches cubed. I did it again. 60 3 fourth inches squared. Squared. It's inches squared. Okay, so here's our second problem. Um, a rectangle has a perimeter of 35 and a half feet. Its length is 12 feet. What is the area of the rectangle? Now, to be able to figure this out, we need to know and remember that perimeter is P equals 2L, so two lengths plus two widths. Okay, so now we know that the perimeter is 35 and a half feet. So I'm going to plug in the things that I do know. So 35 and a half feet for the perimeter and equals two lengths. Now we know the length is 12. So if we multiply that by two, it'll be 24 plus 2w. We don't know what w it is. We don't, we don't know what the width is. So to find that out, we need to subtract 24 from the perimeter that we do know. So 35 and a half minus 24. Okay, that's going to be, I'm going to do it this way because I'm going to, it'll help me. Okay, 5 minus 4 is 1, 3 minus 2 is 1, and that would be a half. Okay, so it would be 11 and a half. So 11 and a half equals 2w, so 2 of the widths. So if it equals 2 of the widths, we need to divide 11 and a half by 2. So 11 and a half divided by 2. We know if we're dividing fractions, it's really going to be 11 and a half times by 1 half. And that gets us to 11 times a half is 11 halves, and a half times a half is 1 fourth. So we have to add these two together. We can't do that because they don't have the same denominators. So this now can become 11, 2 times 2 over 2, equaling 22 fourths. And we plus our 1 fourth, and that's 23 fourths. 23 fourths, how many times does 4 go into 23? Five with three left over. So five and three fourths feet is our width. Okay, five and three fourths is our width. Now with this information, we still have to figure out what our area is. So we've got to take our length our length is 12 feet, and now our width is 5 and 3 fourths feet. So I get to do A equals L times W. A equals length is 12 feet, so 12 times W. Our width is 5 and 3 fourths. Now from here, I get to multiply. 12 times 5 is 60. 12 times 3 fourths is going to be 36 fourths. How many times does 4 go into 36? A nice even number. Well, it's not an even number, but it divides evenly, and that would be 9. So it's 60 plus 9, which is 69 feet squared. There is a lot of different steps in this one. This was just, you need to know that perimeter equals 2 length plus 2 width, and then figuring that out by subtracting. Then we had to divide, and then we had to find the area. These are 
older concepts that you guys worked on in fourth grade that we are implementing the information that we've worked on in fifth grade. So it's a lot of different steps and it's really based off of memory. So we really just have to help you remember. So don't worry. This is the first time we're introducing it. I know it's also a flipped image. So I am sending you guys the images of what's been on the board so that you guys can also have that support as well. You guys can message me, of course, if you have any questions. Please know that this is not the last time we'll be going over this. We absolutely will continue to go over this because this is a lot of hard work. Okay? You guys got this. Happy Friday. I hope you guys are having a good day. You're going to end the day on drawing and art. So your sub will let you know what that looks like. But I want you guys to create something that can go in our art gallery. And that could be you use your you use the Google Slides to create something with different images that you like to put on there, and then we can print it out for you. Um, you guys draw something, you guys um, do something with markers, crayons, colored, pen colored pencils, whatever you want. Um, there's a couple different things that you guys could do, but that's how you guys are going to end the day. I hope it is a great day and I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday. And yeah, I think we've got just about two weeks left. So I think I could be wrong, but it's coming really, really close guys. We've got such little time left together. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Happy, happy Friday.